Hello, I want to thank you for tuning in again. Is there a word from the Lord? There is a word from the Lord. Let's say a quick word of prayer before we get into to it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father God, we tell you, thank you. Great shepherd of the sheep, we give you the praise and all the glory and the honor. Father God, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, everyone that will listen to this recording, oh God, I ask that you will bless them in the name of Jesus. Father God, give them ears to hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say unto the called out ecclesia in Jesus' name, to call that assembly. In Jesus' name, we tell you, thank you. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and share it with others. Is there a word from the Lord? Yes, you probably think and you wonder, why am I not prospering like I desire? You might have done some fasting and you might have sown your seed for your need. You might have given to all of these televangelists, given a thousand, given ten thousand, empty, even empty your bank account, but you still have not received that blessing. Whatever you believe in God for, you probably still have not received that blessing. Third John tells us, let's turn over there. You got your Bibles. I got my family Bible, y'all. Let's read 3 John. 3 John. Page of sounds good. Turn it. 3 John. The second verse, and it reads, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. Listen at that. Now, we are a three-part being. We have a soul, we have a spirit, and we live in this body. And so if your soul is not prospering, you won't prosper. Again, you might have sold a, sold, sold a seed. And you say, oh, I don't, see, I don't see no improvement in my situation, in my circumstance. Look at this. Think about your soul. Are you mature? How in your soul have you allowed your soul to mature? Because if it's immature, you will not receive and maintain the sustained blessings of the Lord. Because your soul, an immature soul, won't allow you to. So you have to receive the engrafted word of God, which is able to save your soul. James tells us, let's turn to the book of James right quick. James cap comes after the book of Hebrew. James, the let's start with the 19th verse. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man working not the righteousness of God. Verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word of God, which is able to save your soul, your mind, your emotions, and your will. An immature soul, again, will not allow you to experience the sustained blessings of the Lord. So we have to allow our soul to grow. And studying, meditating, and feasting on the word of God will cause our souls and allow our souls to grow. Now, Paul talks about being a child. He said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. He said, I, I thought as a child. He said, but when I became a man, he said he put away those childish things. In 1 Corinthians, he said, I put away those childish things. Let's read, start, uh, 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. A lot of people know this as the, the love chapter. Yes, you have to love, and an immature soul will not allow you to exhibit 
and show and give the unconditional love that the Lord requires us. Now, the church of Corinth, Paul wrote to this church, this church had the gifts of the Spirit of God operating, but they were doing it in an immature way. So Paul had to write them a letter and set them in order, set them straight. But I must say, give them credit. They did have the gifts of operating, unlike most churches today. They don't have the gift operating. They try to fake it till they make it. We don't have to fake it. We can yield to the spirit of God. The Bible tells us to desire spiritual gifts that we may prophesy. He encourages us to seek these gifts. But Paul had to set the church of Corinth. They was an immature church body of believers, baby Christians, immature in the mind, in the soul. They probably was trying to outdo one one another, being competitive. <laughs> but Paul wrote this letter to the church of Corinth, and this is what he said. Let's look at verse 9. It said, for we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. We won't have to prophesying part in it more. We are know it all in Christ Jesus. When he comes, when he sets things in order. Verse 11, when I was a child, listen to this. I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. That's what happens when your soul matures, it will allow you to sustain the blessings and the spirit of God. An immature soul. So think about that. You are not blessed in the areas of your life that you desire. Check out your walk. See if your soul, your mind, your emotions, and your will are keeping you from the sustained blessings of the Lord. Is your soul mature? Paul said again, I desire to feed you meat. But he said, I can't because you are babes. So therefore, he said, I must continuously give you milk. You know me, that soul, suke the soul. It focuses on me as selfish. Me, me, me. We have little children. You might have children, small children, babies, a toddler. You know what they focus on. It's all about them. They don't want to share anything. They don't want to love on each other. It's they selfish. And that's how we can be in the spirit when our soul is not mature. It calls you to act like a child. That's why Paul used that analogy. He said, when I was a child, I spake, I spoke as a child. I thought as a child. It was selfish. But he said, when I became man, that's my word. He said, I put away childish things. That's good news. So let's feast. Feast on the word of God. Meditate on it. Re ingest it daily, study it, and that's what we cause your mind, your emotions, and your will, your soul to go grow. We need to have soul care. We need to give our soul some care. You can't give it care if you don't read the Word of God. You read it once a month, once a week, every two weeks. Your soul will remain immature. You'll pop off just like that. Suke souffle. You'll be ruled by the flesh. The Bible tells us to kill this flesh. And you know, I often say fast and pray will help us kill this flesh. And we want to be pneumaticals. That means being spirit led. Then we become sons and daughters of God. Ooh. Then we're mature. Then we will. 
receive and maintain, sustain prosperity because then our souls are maturing. There is a word from the Lord. That's a food for thought. It's a word from the Lord. I was meditating the other day and the Lord gave me that word. I said, Lord, I got to share this with the people. You know, we take care of our bodies a lot. We dress it, we clothe it, we feed it. We want the best. But then we spend little time on soul care. We have to care for our souls because that soul mm, is going to be with us forever. We only have a short window opportunity to allow our souls to mature. God bless you. Receive this word and share it with someone. Thank you for tuning in. Until the next video, God bless you.